Good morning, this is Mr. Rux. I'm going to take you through this problem that deals with dilution as well as molarity and then mixing two solutions to get a uh, new solution that we'll have to find the molarity for. So first off, we start off with a dilution and it says we're adding 750 milliliters of water to a 300 milliliter 6 molar solution and it's asking what the new molarity is. So the formula that we're going to use to solve for this dilution is a molarity of the first times the volume of the first is equal to the molarity of the second times the volume of the second. Now in this particular problem you'll notice that uh, the value 300 milliliters is and 6 molar is separated by of. That is a clue that these two values need to go together. So we could assign this our V1, we could assign this our M1, that means that the other value, if we look over here, will need to be added to the 750, will be needed to added, be added to the 300 milliliters. So our new volume, our V2 value, is going to be 750 plus 300, which is going to give us 1,050 milliliters. All right, so let's plug our values in. Now we'll just divide by, sorry, we're just going to divide by the uh, 1.050 liters. We do both sides by that. We end up with an answer of M2 being equal to 1.7, we're going to round it a little bit, 1.7 molar. All right, so uh, that's the first question, the answer to the first question. Now uh, what we're going to do is, similar to what you did in the lab, you're going to be taking uh, a volume of the first solution and combining it with a volume of the second solution and then diluting it to... Uh, 100 milliliters. So in order to do this what we have to do is um, it's not just a dilution because we're mixing two we need to figure out the number of moles that we're going to be putting from each solution into our our final solution. So what we want to do is if we're taking 30 milliliters of the first solution what we'll do is we'll do 0 0.030 liters of our first solution We'll multiply that by the molarity of our first solution, which was um, 6 molar. So we're going to do 6.0 moles per liter. Now, again, what happens is our liters label will cancel out. We get an answer of 1.8 moles. Or point, I'm sorry, 0 0.18 moles. All right, so now we have that. That's the first solution. Then it tells us we're taking 10 milliliters of the second solution. Well, the molarity of the second solution is this right here. So we're going to do 0 0.010 liters, volume in liters. And that is a 1.7 moles per liter. Again, our liter label will cancel. And what we'll have is 0 0.017 moles. All right, so that's the total number of moles that we're going to be putting into the final solution. So what we want to do is we want to add them together. So we have 0 0.197 moles that we'll be adding to our final solution. So to find the molarity of that final solution, we take 0 0.197. 197 moles divided by our volume and we diluted this once we added the 30 milliliters and the 10 milliliters we diluted it to a total volume of 100 milliliters which is 0 0.100 liters and now all we have to do is divide and our final molarity is 1.97 molar.
So that's how you solve this type of problem. Like I said, it's very similar to what you had done for the lab. So uh, definitely you should know how to do these problems. All right, we'll see you in class.